Hey guys, Crux, so welcome to a new series that I'm going to be doing on Steam Profile Customization. Up first is how to level your profile and get your style prep going. As some of you might know, I just reached level 200 on Steam and totally redid my profile. I think it looks really cool, but I do know the ins and outs of customizing, and I'm going to go into an in-depth tutorial. There's tons of these on the internet that have already been made, but I'm going to try to do it a little bit differently with some new updated methods that people have been doing and some nice shortcuts, as well as some things that people just don't talk about in these tutorials. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, there is no free way to do this. It does cost money you do have to have keys so you can trade for those or you can pay for real money for your keys but you level up by crafting badges with steam cards each badge is worth 100 xp and there is a nice badge priceless website that you can go to here which we're going to be using the site a lot actually and as you can see they started about 25 cents and there's tons of pages of these guys and each of them can be crafted five times for the normal badge and one time for the hollow when you click on the game's name you can see all of the badges that exist for it all of the trading cards you can buy them right there all the foil cards the emoticons the backgrounds and it's a very good site to have as a resource for you to look up all these different games and find the different cards yourself also there is a list of all steam levels every 10 level has a different color and every 100 levels has a different symbol behind it so level 0 through 99 are a circle level 100 through 199 are hexagon so on so forth and each of those colors reset so 100 is the same color as zero there's also an XP table that exists out there, and it's gonna go over how you craft these. So it's kind of an exponential scale on how you level up. So from zero to 10, it costs you 100 XP, AKA one badge. So it would take you 10 badges to get from zero to 100. That would cost you on average about $2.50 or pretty much a key. So it scales. So from 10 to 20, it costs 200 XP, AKA two badges crafted in between each level. So for me to get from 190 to 200, each level cost me 20 badge sets, which was pretty crazy. It does get pretty expensive at that point. And that's why it's so crazy that these people are hitting over a thousand to me because from just level a thousand, you're gonna have to craft a hundred badges each level, which is like $25 or more. So there's currently 15 showcases on steam that you can use in your profile i'm using most of them here on mine you can keep scrolling it goes down pretty far actually and so that means everything past level 150 is just for style you're just trying to look more legit and you get more friend slots as well and here are actually the showcases there's rarest achievement showcase which is pretty straightforward game collector where you can show off four games of yours that you have item showcase items for trade which are pretty much the same showcase allows you to showcase more skins and items for trade gives you a small text box under it to describe what you're trading badge collector where you can show off badges favorite game screenshot showcase which is another very common one custom info box favorite group workshop showcase your workshop showcase which is the same thing one's one and the other showcases four of them artwork showcase your favorite guide my guides and achievement showcase so those are the 15 so really you don't need to go past at level 150 and most of you don't even need to do that if you just want a clean profile you can get it by just getting level 10 or 30 probably those are the common ones that people do usually and actually the other point for leveling up really high is you show up high in your friends steam accounts because the top five friends that are shown are the top five levels during major holiday events and sales there are badge sets that you can craft from valve pretty much an infinite amount of times or at least the amount of times that you can't afford just like stack here who went over a hundred thousand times in the steam summer sale and that's why he's such a crazy level this dude Dude's fucking nuts and I don't even see how that's possible but hey some people just have that money and if you want to go the fast way of getting card sets you can go to steam trading cards subreddit which is where you're gonna find the rates for these bots that exist on steam there's tons of them I'm gonna show you guys what to do and what not to do so this one is 12 to 1 meaning 12 card sets or 12 badges per key so you're gonna add them make sure they're online and if they're online they're gonna message you right away since they're a bot there's a lot of commands in their descriptions that can give you help with, but you're going to want to type an exclamation point check, and it's going to tell you how many sets they have that you haven't crafted. And then it'll also tell you how many keys or gems or sometimes TF2 keys it'll cost. So let's say I want to buy one just to check here, which you should always buy one so that you can check if their rate is what they're advertising. So you're going to do exclamation point buy space one, and then they're going to send a trade offer and you count out each individual card set to make sure that there are actually 12 sets. So basically find 12 of the same card in that. So he was correct. So that was a good bot to go with, but these ones that are 25 to one, you can see this reddit post has been deleted those are usually fucking bullshit and that's because they are trying to advertise something in hopes that people are going to send an offer and see a shit ton of cards and accept but really they'll send you only like 10 cards per key which is a ripoff now when you go to craft badges you would click the item and go to click craft badge like i said you can do this five times so you would refresh with f5 and click it over and over and then go back to your badges and move forward onto crafting the next badge. That is pretty simple, but it does get really annoying when you're getting to level 200. I think I had to craft like 1200 badge sets or something. So to get past that and to just do it automated, there is this script that you can get with Temper Monkey on Chrome. 
100% safe to use. All you have to do is install it with Tamper Monkey. I'll have the link in the description. And it adds this little auto craft all badges button. And you can customize with a bunch of different things like limiting the amount of crafts you want to do. And then you just click it and it does it in the background while you open up a new tab and continue with your life as it's leveling up your Steam profile for you. So this is super useful. One last thing I want to mention about leveling up and badges is sometimes people want to have clean badge sets like myself. I went with the four blue badges and this does show your four recent on the page. So it does involve a bit of math and a bit of planning beforehand. It's hard to find these badges, but there is a search engine that I actually found, which is pretty nifty. So you're going to want to click the link in the description to check that out. You go into the badge section, search any term you want here. I search poop just for the fuck of it. And when you search, it comes up with every badge that has the word poop in it. This works really well with colors as well. And it's just a cool way to further the aesthetic of your profile instead of having four random badges there. But like I said, it does take some planning and some math to get the, your desired level and to get your desired four badges as the most recent ones. So make sure you do that planning beforehand. So that pretty much does it for the planning and prep section of the leveling up of your Steam profile. Like I said, guys, this is not a quick process. So I apologize that I have to split it up, but I am going to split up this video into multiple parts. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to pick your background, how to style it, and how to crop it and upload it as long artwork. New upload here in a couple days, guys. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Sash. Four bars, Matt for the charge. Your DSL is the